one type of non-explosive HDRM is the split spool initiator. In this design, a groove is carved into the middle of a cylinder. The cylinder is split in half lengthwise, but is then held together by wrapping a tensile wire around it. One end of this wire is fixed to the frame of the HDRM, and the other is hooked to a link wire. Inside the groove of the cylinder is the plunger pin, which is being pressed into the groove by a spring-loaded attachment. Inside this attachment is the threaded coupling to which the bolt is attached. This coupling is also split lengthwise, but held together by protrusions inside of the attachment. To trigger this HDRM and release the bolt, a high current is passed through the link wire. This causes it to vaporize and release one end of the tensile wire. Now with only one side held down, the tensile wire unwinds and is unable to hold the two hemispheres of the cylinder together. Under pressure from the spring, the attachment along the plunger pin are now pushed forward now that the cylinder is no longer blocking the movement of the plunger pin. As a consequence of the attachment moving forward, the protrusions that kept the two halves of the threaded coupling together are now moved forward. This then results in the two halves of the coupling moving apart and releasing the bolt. Just like with the pyrotechnic design, the apparent complexity of this design is related to safety and reliability. Since this design does not contain any chemical reaction, the delay from trigger to release is more consistent. The rest of the mechanism is there to redirect the energy of the spring to make the connection between the bolt and coupling fail cleanly.